out of APU, Kate Fitzgerald is our bride. Let's bring up Sadie Bjornsson. And ladies and gentlemen, 2013 10K free champion, gold medalist, Rosie Brennan. Yes, congratulations, Rosie. Thank you. Um, and how is it racing in Utah again? It's great. I love it here. So okay. I'm excited to be here and have my family and friends be able to watch. And, oh, good. And, you know, it's sunny and it's the mountains. It's just, I love yeah. it. <laughs> so how does this course play to your strengths? Um, I think having uh, sort of the grinding uphill v2 sections um is that's probably my greatest strength okay um and uh, well the uphills in general basically because right. they're probably my strength the, they're but. steep uphills here they're yeah and good. i actually think i probably excel on the less steep ones um, okay kind of like from here to the, the top of the course was, okay was really i think where i where i made up most yeah. of my time and the flatter sections across um, were my challenge. <laughs> so I, I was actually hoping you were going to race the original 5K. But, okay, um, more hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was fine. It worked out really well. So. <laughs> okay, good. And what about uh, the, the gals you're skiing with? Yeah. Were you catching? Were you chasing? Were you? Um, I, I caught um, a couple girls that started right ahead of me um, pretty early. Uh, and one happened to be my teammate, Becca, who actually is really strong on the flats. And so that was awesome because she kind of pulled me along this, this ah, finger the first lap. Okay. Um, and, then, and then I tried to... Uh, they both stuck with me the whole time. And so then I tried to um, put my move in up, up hair modes, the, the last big uphill, and then uh, through the stadium and up on my second lap. Okay. Is hair modes your favorite? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. It's infamous. <laughs> right. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, and how about the rest of the week? What, um, what are you looking forward to most? Well, so far it's been just fabulous. I've um, already well exceeded my expectations, so I'm just uh, hoping that it will keep going that way, I guess. Okay, that's terrific. <laughs> Do you have your friends and family out here today? Yeah, but my mom has actually volunteered and she's timing all the races. Um, and my, my dad has been able to come watch it, and I've had some friends that have come down and watched too, so it's been really great, you know, because I've spent so many years now, like, off doing this thing that's cross-country ski racing, and no one really knows what it is, and so they finally have um, gotten to come see, and so it's been it's been really exciting to, to showcase that, and, and to have, like, this perfect Utah weather, I just, I'm, like, so happy to be home and, like, have everyone see this, like, awesome place that I love, so, yeah, great. it's been great. Awesome. And when was the last time you raced Soldier Hollow? Oh gosh, it's been a long time now because I spent four years um, at college in, at Dartmouth um, and now I'm in my second year in Alaska. So it's probably been six or seven years since I've done um, a real race here. So. Okay, Eric's got quite a fleet up there. Yeah, yeah, a APU, um, it's it's incredible. I'm, I'm really glad that I joined the team. Um, they've pushed me so hard and uh, they're great teammates and Eric's uh, an incredible coach, and he's really made huge improvements for me. So it's been a really positive change. And different from Utah, you get to ski year round. Yeah, well, that's that's another reason why I went there. I, I struggled with injury a lot, um, particularly my last few years in college, and. All my injuries were not associated with skiing, so I'm like, oh. well, if I can spend more time on snow and less time dry land training, maybe I'll be less injured. So that was one of my motivators for going to Alaska in the first place. So it's, uh, you know, we get to ski on Eagle Glacier in the summer, um, and, and that is where I think I made so many improvements this summer. Um, it's really challenging snow conditions, and so uh, you can really focus on, on the technical aspects of of skiing and, and that was kind of my goal this summer and I think it's really paid off particularly in skating it shows yeah so, skating needs to be like by far my, my weakest yeah. technique so and I didn't catch you after the um, classic sprint what, what did you think of that race um, I was ecstatic with that race that was my first time being on the podium at, at nationals oh, um, nice. so I was pumped for that and, and uh, I I've had sh I've struggled in sprinting well ever since I got injured I just 
I think I lost a lot of my fast switch, so uh -huh. it's slowly coming back now, and, and so it was great to to be able to have that have a good race that day. Too, great. So. Um, it's great to have you back in Utah. Yeah, I'm Sorry. excited. I Good. love it here. So. All right. Thanks and congratulations. Yeah, thank you.